go. Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasala. Kwam Hello, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Up Yahweh Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, to the best of their ability. Zachanan Awa. It's brother, coming at you with another quick lesson. Brother Harad. We got the brother Harad. And, um, you know, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out on the weekends, generally on Saturdays. But it, it can be any day of the week. We um, we talk to our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, to let you know that you are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures. And that the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. And the true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's a savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And, um, you know, we go off into topics. We let our people know that we're living in the last days. You can tell by what's going on out here on these streets, in the news, geopolitics, if you're into that, which you should be, because the Lord said to watch and pray. You know what I'm saying? So we had a brother that came up. He asked us about the signs. He was reading, and we was telling him that, you know, um, the people that are on these signs, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Jamaicans, and um, Haitians, Latinos, Dominicans, um, Hondurans, you know, all these different names that our colonizers gave us. Those are, those are not nationalities. Those are, are, are names that your oppressor gave you. And that our true nationality is we're Hebrew Israelites. So that's the reason why we bring out the signs, you know. And, um, you know, I got to give a big up to my man's brother Harad, too, because, you know, when he came into the, the camp, you know, he, he he got got we got it popping, man, with the signs, man, because I never had them out before. I was just come kind of coming out, you know. Um, but they do, they are an attention grabber, and that is scriptural when it comes to the um, the signs, man. Um, matter of fact, uh, oh yeah, hey, hey, yeah, 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 hey, but that's what the that's what this 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 word do, does, man. Hey, this word, it riles people up. She didn't even, you know, from there, I don't even know how she, maybe, hey, you know, people, they'll, they'll cross the street, though. When it comes to this truth, they'll see the brothers out, and then, hey, they'll cross the street, because they, they, they can't take it. They can't take hearing, hearing this on um, this truth, man. Now, let's get Ezekiel 37, I right? we'll go up into the signs real quick. 37 and um, 17. And like I said, you know, hey, yeah, these, these signs are an attention grabber. They are, man. Because people, they'll roll up and they'll be like, well, hey, what's that? You know, what's those names? And, you know, you can see the name go to, you know, what we're being called right now. And you can look at it and be like what we were called in the ancient days. So you so-called black, you would be, or Negroes, you would be the tribe of Judah. You know? So on and so forth. So you can see... Well, you can see the 12 tribes on the, you know, on the sides. Yeah, you, you there, I, see, we had 17, uh, let's see, uh, no, let's start at, it's entitled, The Reunion of Israel and Judah. Let's start at verse 15, I, And that's the spirit because, you know, we had to get back going. We just started back over because the the the, uh, the phone said short, um, you know, low low um, storage, so it clipped the video, and now we we we're just starting back over. So, but that's all about the spirit, the power. If y'all about to know the shot, what's going on, bro? We the Hebrew Israelites, brother. We Hebrew Israelites, we living in them last days, bro. It's time to repent, bro. All right. Good. Ezekiel thirty-seven and fifteen. The world of, of the Lord came, came again unto me, saying. Now this is the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came again, came to him again, saying. More, moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. So basically, you know, take take thee one stick. So, you know, we, we kind of got these signs right here, right, right off, you know. So this is one stick right here. With the, with the southern tribes on them. Go ahead, Ock. And right upon, upon it, for Judah. See, we had the, the, the first very first tribe at the top of this sign is Judah. 
which would be the so-called Negroes, which would be the top tribe, which Yahweh side, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus comes from. That's where he, he's the top king, man. I mean, you know, the top prophet, the top, so he's the son of man. He's the son of God, you know? And, and you so-called Negroes, you so-called blacks or African-Americans, you descend from that very same tribe as Yahweh side, which the world equally calls Jesus. Go ahead, I. For Judah and for the children of Israel. The children of Israel, you know, that was the head tribe of the children of Israel would be the tribe of Ephraim, which would be the so-called Puerto Ricans today. Yep. You see, we have Puerto Ricans right here. That would be the, North, the, the northern kingdom or the head tribe of that particular. So we were, the kingdom was split between southern kingdom and king, um, the southern kingdom was called Judah the northern kingdom was called Israel you see that kingdom was split during the reign of Solomon and that's where you get the Gentiles in the New Testament that's why the Lord said he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel according to Matthew 15 and 24 that's where you get the, the Gentiles from but you have these Christians the so-called white man they've lied to the people and told you that it means everybody in the world and it doesn't they've lied to you about john 3 16 you know that's another lesson as well go ahead I. this companion then take another stick and write upon it for joseph joseph which would be still joseph is synonymous with ephraim go ahead I. the stick of ephraim see ephraim and for all the house of israel his companions. See that? Now over here in the, let me get it in the NLT. Over here, it says the son, son of man, take a piece of wood and carve on it these words. The, this represents Judah and, it, and its ally tribes. Then take another piece of carve, carve, then, then take another piece and carve these words on it. The represent, this represents Ephraim and the northern tribes of Israel. Go ahead, I. And, and join them one to another into one stick. See, we're going to be joined together as one stick because the Lord is bringing those tribes all back together. It's no longer going to be a southern kingdom and a northern kingdom. It's going to just be the children of Israel, the kingdom of Israel. Go ahead. I, all with, you know, coming from our Lord, Yahweh, the son, Yahweh Shai, you know, then King David, then the 12 apostles, then 144,000 elect. Then the one third of Israel, and then of course the two third to come back in the kingdom. Go ahead, I. And they shall become one in, in thy, thy hand. They will they will become one in thine hand. And when the children of the of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, What what thou not saw us what thou Beat us by these. So that's why when the guy rolled up on his bike, he stopped. He actually came across the street to see it. That's the, you know, and I, I don't know if that's one of the, the guys that we've been seeing on the past weekends. Um, but he, he he crossed the street, you know, and he was looking. But we was going into the greeting at, the, at that time. But, you know, I asked him, you know, did he have any questions? He asked about the signs. That's why I'm saying... So when the children, when they ask, what are these? What, what does this mean? What does this mean, right? It says, in the NLT it says, when your people ask you what your actions mean, so we, we explain to him what the, what, the, what the signs mean. So it's important for us to have these signs. So like I said, again, the water to the brother, you know, because when he first came in and we, you know, He's like, bro, you gotta, we gotta get these signs, bro. We gotta do this. So the water for that. Go ahead, I can uh, more on it. Say unto them, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim. Yep, he'll take the stick of Joseph that's in the hand of Ephraim. Go ahead, I. And the tribe of Israel, his fellow, and will put him with him, even with the stick of Judah. So he's gonna put Judah and Israel back together. Go ahead, I. And make them one stick. He's gonna make us one stick. And they shall be 
one in my hand. So we're going to be like a stick in the hand of the Lord, man. <laughs> you see? Go ahead, I. And the stick, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes. See that? And, and verse, go ahead, let's get verse 21. Verse, verse 21. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. See, the Lord is going to take us from among the heathen. Whether they be gone and will gather them on every side. So he's going to gather us back to him. He's going to gather us back up. All the nations that he scattered us among, he's going to gather us back up. <laughs> Go ahead, Ox. And bring them unto their own land. See, he's going to bring us back to the land of Israel. See, those people that are over there in the land right now, those are not the people. Those are imposters, man. The Lord is going to bring the children of Israel back up. He's going to put us back together as one kingdom of people, and we're going to rule, man. Go ahead, Ox. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. See, he'll make us one nation in the in the in the land upon the mountains of Israel. He's gonna put us back together. Go ahead, I. And one king shall be king to them all. Yep, one king. And that king is gonna be our main king is Yahweh and, 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 and King David. Go ahead, I. And they shall be no more two nations. We're not gonna be two nations no more. It's just gonna be Israel. It's not gonna be Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom anymore. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. We're not gonna be divided into two kingdoms anymore, man. Go ahead, I. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. We're not gonna be defiled no more with white Jesus. Idols of are, 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 are Muslim and, and, and damn Buddhism and whatever the hell else, you know, worshiping our, our mama, worshiping a damn woman, worshiping, you know, um, our car or a bank account or something. We're not going to be into these idols no more, man. We're going to be straight forward. The Lord is going to write the law, statutes, and commandments on our hearts and our minds according to the new covenant, and we're going to serve him and him only, man. Go ahead, I. Now that they defile this sin themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their testimonies, things nor with any of their transgressions. But I will serve them out. I will save, save them. them out of out of all their dwelling places. Dwelling places. So the Lord, He's gonna save us out of all these countries, man. Out of all these nations where we've been scattered. And it's not a skin color thing because the Hebrew Israelites, we look like all people, man, because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the men of Israel have mingled with the women of these other nations, and we look like these other nations, man. Go ahead, Ock. Where, where is they have seen and will cleanse them? So shall, so you gotta you speak up a little bit, Ock. You can. Where cleanse, will cleanse them? Yeah. So, so shall they be my people. And I will be their God. See? So the Lord is going to cleanse us. And we're going to be his people. And he's going to be our God. Because we've been disobedient to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's side. So we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth because of the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. See? We made a covenant, a blood contract with the Lord. And he told us that if we followed him, done what he said to do, being obedient to him, that we will be blessed. And if we didn't, we will be cursed. So here we are, and I don't know how which captivity this is. <laughs> We've been in captivity so many times for breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments, and mainly worshiping these idols, man. That's one of the main things that the Lord hates, man, that idol worship. You see what I'm saying? So now we have our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which came to, to, to die for our sins and that we you know through grace now we have we have this this opportunity to come back before the Lord so to speak 
And I was just kicking it with the brother about this, this lady at work. Well, you know, she's one of those Old Testament only believers. And I didn't get a chance to ask her where, you know, where they um, congregate at. But she kind of seemed as if they might have had a church or something somewhere. So, you know, she's reading, you know, her, her book. And I'm looking at the Hebrew, you know, because I, I was kind of walked in, and you know, to do something. And I was like, oh, okay, I see, hey, what's going on, you know? That was kind of like an invitation for me to ask her because I always wanted to ask her what was she into because she always has her hair wrapped and stuff like that. She, you know, she's not the, she still be wearing pants though, you know? But she's an Old Testament only believer and they don't believe in Yahweh Shai, which a lot of our people are going to be destroyed for that very act, man. Um, matter of fact, Lock your, uh... Hey, if you don't believe in your house side, you might as well put the Old Testament down anyway. Because I was trying to, I, I, you know, I explained to her, you know, because I had a little while, to, a couple of minutes to kick it with her. I was like, you know, the Lord is mentioned, um, the, the Son is mentioned in the Old Testament. And, you know, she kind of went into that they, they touch on the Old, I mean, the New Testament. But I'm like, well, you can't just go off in there and cherry pick what you want, you know, because Old Testament um, um, believers, they will do that. They'll use scriptures in the New Testament like, well, damn, you don't even believe in the New Testament. How are you trying to use scriptures in the New Testament to debunk the New Testament? It don't make no sense. But Let's see here, man. Because you, hey, if you don't believe in your whole, your whole side, your, your ass is doomed already. And the Lord is doing a lot of sifting right now, man. There's going to be a lot of sifting that's going on out here. Now let's get John 3 and 18, huh? Because, you know, they'll read John 3, 16, but do they truly really believe in Yahweh as the scriptures have said? Do they believe in him, the, the, the one that comes in the volume of the book? Because Yahweh's side comes in the volume of the book. You see? So you have these Christians out here that tell you, for God so loved the world, but if you tell them that he's a so-called black man, that his name is not really Jesus, and that his name is Yahweh Shai, right? They, they, they don't want to believe. Then you get a whole bunch of, you know, excuses, and a bunch of other shit, man. Go ahead, I got you there on that. John 3 and 18, he that believes, believes on him is oh, not- Oh, matter of fact, let's, let's go up 17, let's see what uh, Lot. We could have started at 16, but yeah, let, let's start at um lock here. Okay, uh yeah, yeah, let's start at 17. God, oh, excuse me. For, for, for Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Now this world that's being talked about, because it's, you know, John 3, 16, of course they're talking about for God so loved the world, you know, that he sent his only begotten son. Now that world that's being talked about is the world of the children of Israel. So you have to keep that in mind because these Christians, they'll see the world world and they go damn nuts, man. They see the world world and go crazy. Uh, see, it's talking about the whole world. No, it's not talking about everybody on the entire planet Earth, man. The world world is in the Webster Dictionary. I think the world world, it has 17, dic it has 17 de definitions in um, the, the, um, the dictionary. So you have to figure out which world is it talking about? What, what word? is this world world talking about it's talking about age or society man it's not talking about everybody on the planet man the lord didn't go from giving the old covenant to the, the israelites to coming into the new testament and giving it to everybody else it's telling you who it's for when you go into hebrews chapter 8 and 8 and um jeremiah 31 and 31 it's showing you and telling you that the, the covenant is for the house of Judah and the house of Israel, man. We just went into he put the sticks back together, that he's going to put the sticks back together and he's going to bring the children of Israel back together as one. So go ahead, I. But this is the point 
you know, with this lady that, you know, um, I was kicking with at work yesterday. The Old Testament only believers. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. See that? If you believe, you're not condemned. But if you don't believe on your holocaust side, your ass is through. Straight up. There is no other way around it. Go ahead, I. Because he have not believed in the, in the name of the Holy Begotten Son, the only begotten Son of Yahweh. See? They believe it not in the name. And what is the name? Yahweh Shai. But what they'll argue you up and down that it doesn't matter. Jesus is his English name. And that's not even an English um, word. It's actually Christo. You know? Going into the, the Greek of it, you know, um, um, hey, look, <laughs> see who they're thinking about is is the so-called white man, the Pope's son. You see? Cesar Borges, that's who they're thinking about. See, like I said again, we're out here on the highways and byways, and you can have a person walk up and, and they'll literally argue with you about white Jesus, man. And you can show them in the scriptures that the Lord was a dark, melanated man. You know, voice of many waters, woolly hair. They'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, I agree with that. But it doesn't matter what his name is. See? It doesn't matter what color he is. It don't matter. A lot of them going to give you that, though. It don't matter what color he is. You're going to get that the most. You're going to get that the most. I just done a lesson like two or three days ago on, on something similar because... What was that? They, uh, matter of fact, it was over in, uh, they call it Christo Negro, where they supposedly they found a statue that supposedly had, it's a couple of stories to it, but supposedly the, the, this, this black Jesus statue, you know, rolled up out of the ocean onto the sand or the beach and they found it. And they actually have it. I mean, it's a church. I, I think it's in, um, damn, where the church at? They, they parade it every year. They parade it every year. And it's actually, you know, but they really do believe in that particular country. I want to say, I want to think it's Panama. And you know those are our people too because the Panamanians, they are all here too. So uh, I don't think I wrote the, the actual name name down. Going off to the Northern Kingdom. But these people over in Panama, they had the guy, he walking on his foot. He, he sliding along the ground and they, they, they got candles dripping on him and shit. So I'm assuming that you know, but you know that's supposed to be him, a representation of the Lord catching the whip. You know they got, but they carry this this big ass statue. You know, um, it, it's painted black. I mean, it looks like the, basically like how it would be described in Revelation. You know, uh, um, feet of bronze as if they were burned in a furnace. And I done a lesson on it. And when I went into the comment, the comments. You know, you got all these damn Edomites in there. Well, it doesn't matter what color he is because now people are starting to realize that, hey, he's not white. He's not this so-called white guy. Now they have to come to a realization that, but it doesn't matter though. But all along, they done whipped your ass and just beat the hell out of you during slavery. And our people still believe in that image to this very day, which is idolatry. And what did the Lord say about that? He will have no gods before him, man. Matter of fact, let's go to um, Exodus chapter 20. The Lord is not playing that, man. All that, it, it doesn't matter. Hey, I'm trying to get it right, man. When it comes to the Lord, man. You want to get it right. It doesn't matter, man. Exodus 1 and 20. No, chapter 20, but I'm starting at the top of uh, basically with the, the Ten Commandments. Exodus. And, and, and Yahweh spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of, out of the land of Egypt. Yep. Out of the land, out of the house of bondage. So that word Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage, which means slavery. See? And the Lord only brought the, the Hebrew Israelites out of Egypt. He didn't send Aaron and Moses into Egypt to get the, 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 um, the, the uh, Pharaoh and his people, man. 
he went in there to tell, he sent them in there to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Who are these people? And that's happening right now. The Lord is pleading right now for his people, man. America is known as modern day Egypt, spiritual Egypt. That's why you see that pyramid on the back of that dollar. So the bulk of the children of Israel are right here in the Americas. North America and South America, man. Go ahead, Op. Thou shalt, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hey, that's a command. Hey, that's the very first one of them, man. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. The Lord is a jealous power, man. And what do our people do? Jacob worshiped their mama over, over the Lord, man. And you got Jake with that mama spirit. That's just like this guy, um, this fucking guy. Uh, this nigga be talking shit. He done, he done became famous as one of these social media um, uh, people. Um, I think his name is Wright, last name Wright. Oh, I'm talking about my mama. My mama. These Hebrew Israelite, my mama, are you trying to tell me you know, hey, it's just weak as hell that we still going through punishment from 2,000 years ago. I don't want to serve no God like that. My mama the went to, I'm like this, you, you baby mama ass niggas, man. Yeah. You baby boy niggas, man. Y'all better grow a set, man. Go ahead, I. I also not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or, the, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth. Yep, go ahead, Ock. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. And you don't bow yourself down to no images, man. No cross. You know, is it, it, it wrong for you to have a picture? Of somebody in your house It's not talking about that kind of image It's not talking about that It's talking about you bowing And actually serving these images man And that's what a lot of our people Are real strong into Especially with white Jesus man And secondarily is that damn Islam Go ahead I Lord serve them For I the Lord thy God am a jealous God You see that The Lord is a jealous power man you niggas can get jealous over a woman that's done been, she got five kids by five different niggas. You'll get jealous over her, but the Lord can't be jealous over you. The ones that he chose, the ones that he made a covenant with, the ones that he actually said that you would be above all people. Upon The Lord, man, gave us a real serious, beautiful contract, man, or a real beautiful, um, um, to be chosen by the most high over all people. Man, you know how special that is? And then you go out here and you serve other gods and say, hey, no, the white man done that for me. You got Jake out here right now about to lie to their babies and kids and tell them that some fat ass white guy is coming down the chimney to have cookie and milks with him, man. Leave out some cookie and milks for this fat guy. You don't even have a chimney. Nigga dressing up like Santa Claus. Hey, they got song, what's the song? I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Get the hell out of here, man. Jake about to lie to their kids about everything that they have. We, 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 we thank white Jesus for the food that's sitting before us. You, hey, that pisses the Lord off, man. That will piss you off. Let's say, for instance, you a man, you was with a woman, y'all broke up. You getting your, you know, your your son a, 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 a new bicycle for Christmas, right? The dad bring the bicycle through, you know, even though he hate the baby mama for all the shit that she done put him through. And then get, and then the baby mama tell the son that his stepdad got him the bike. You don't think that's gonna piss, that will piss a nigga off. No, your dad didn't do nothing even. She giving the credit to another nigga. That will piss you off. So you don't think that that will piss the Lord off, man? The Lord is doing everything for us. Housing us, feeding us, clothing us, and you giving all the honor, glory, and praise to a white God, man. 
The very same people that beat your damn back in. And Jake, hey, Jake. They, hey, they, they won't have it no other way. You can't tell Jake that, that the Lord is not some white guy, man. You, these people will fight with you. The brother was just going into it. He was just talking about <laughs> a guy he was kicking it with. You know, hey, you can't, you have to use wisdom even when you're talking about this truth, you know, because we were talking about as far as like at work-wise or just being out in public in general, you know, because the scriptures talks about not throwing your, your um, you know, throwing this, you know, uh, it's true to the swine or to the to the dog, so to speak, man. Matter of fact, let's see if we can get that. But in, in the meanwhile, the, the main point we wanted to make on this is, is was it more on that dog? Yeah, go ahead, I lock you. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yep. So hey, that's going on right now. Because there's a such thing, you know, as um reincarnation. Your ass come back here, you know, uh, judgment is under the sun. That's what it, the scripture talks about, man, in Ecclesiastes. You, you, you get your, you, your body decomposed, your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it. Because there's no such thing as this red man or the so-called white man with a damn pitchfork on the ground. And he's poking people in the ass like getting this lake of fire. That's not in the scriptures, man. Your body decomposed. Your spirit goes back to the Lord, Yahweh, that gave it. And you come back down here for a judgment. The Lord put a man and a woman together. They have sex. Your ass is born back into this place. And sometimes you don't even make it out of the womb. You go right back before the Lord. <laughs> for real. Hey, you know, hey, when a, when a, when a baby dies in a woman's... When a baby dies in a woman's stomach, that, that motherfucker had to have been wigging his hell in his past life to not even make it out of her... On a, on a planet, man. Right. Or she ordered, or the nigga might get aborted. The Lord had that woman, the so called nigga woman, go and let some white man twist all off of her box and crush your ass up and throw you in a jar, man. Have your ass out here being studied for, for stem cell um, research. <laughs> Straight up, man. Straight up. So, hey. It's high time to awake out of sleep, man. It's high time to repent. It's like I said again, hey, the Lord is really, hey, he's not going for that idolatry. That's for damn sure. That was one of the things that you could have been put to death for. Matter of fact, going into the scriptures, it talks about, um, if your mother or one of your close relatives or anybody around you enticed you to, to serve another God, Hey, you were supposed to go and tell the elders, man. You were supposed to be one of the very first ones. All right, now. All right. You were supposed to be one of the very first ones to throw that very first stone and knock your damn mama teeth out. If she was one of the ones that, you know, um, tried to get you to serve another guy other than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In fact, I'm not sure exactly where that's at. Well, um... Oh, yep, yep, uh, let's get Deuteronomy 13 and 6. And you know what? It's a shame that you have, because um, you know you got these um, um, IUIC, and I'm just going to say their name, because those guys, man, are slandering the brothers of GMS, man, running around calling them rapists, man. That, that's a real bad slander, man. Ain't the Lord going to deal with them guys, man, if they don't repent. And there's a lot of camps that's out here that's not speaking up, man. These camps should be saying, hey, you IUIC members, man, hey, y'all need to cut that lie out. Because the uh, GMS just went into the fact that these laws are in the in the scriptures. Now, if you can't handle dark sayings, then this truth is just not for you. It's just that simple. Because the, the, hey, this truth got a lot of real bad stuff in it, man. It's got a lot of real bad things in it that a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't really consider to be scriptural or, or Christian-like, rather. Because you got these Christians, they want to try and act like the Bible is all squeaky clean, and it's not, man. Rape is in the Bible. The Lord had laws for what would go down if somebody was raped. It's that simple. 
And that's all that GMS was bringing out. Now the brother, I don't know if you've seen the video of IUIC down in, um, they was down at um, Jackson with, um, with the, the football championships. And the brother from Mississippi, can't think of his name right off, Mississippi GMS, he was there. You know, he was, um, you know, he had on his uniform as far as work. And, you know, and one of the guys was like, hey, what about you, brother? And, you know, they was asking him questions, right? And, um, come, you know, he was going into it. And they like, you know, they come to find out, they figured out he was from GMS. And they're like, oh, you're a rapist. You know, in front of his family and all that stuff. You know, you're a rapist. Because we teach the doctrine of rape. That's in the scriptures. We got to teach all the doctrine, man. The good, bad, and the ugly. Fuck all that Christianity. God loves everybody stuff, man, because it's not scriptural. That is not in the scriptures, man. But well, let's get that. I'm going. Deuteronomy 13 to 6. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son of thy daughter, or the wife of thy boss, boss or the, the friend, which is as thy own soul, Entice, entice these secretly. See that? Say, let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers. See? Now, let me get it in the NLT. It says, suppose secretly, suppose someone secretly entices you, even your brother, your son, or daughter, your beloved wife or your closest friend, and say, let us go worship other gods, gods that neither your ancestors have known. So this is the setup, right? Let's see what the Lord has to say about somebody that entices you to serve or, or, or try and go after another god. Let's see the the, 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 the real jealousy of Yahweh by Shimei man. Go ahead, I. Normally of the... Namely. Namely. Namely of the gods of the people which are round about you. See, these gods, you, we're not supposed to be uh, 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 fucking serving no white Jesus, man. No damn Islam. No damn Buddhism or Hinduism or any of these things, man. Those are, those are, 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 are worship, you know, um, idol worship of the heathen. Let them worship their own gods. We're not supposed, that's why the Lord told us when we came out of Egypt to Fuck these Egyptians up, man. These damn Canaanites, all these different nations. The Lord told us to, to deal with them harshly, to utterly slay them because he didn't want us dealing with the, the gods of these other nations. What's going on now? He didn't want us dealing with, the, he told us don't do what they do because it was, that's the shit got us here in this slavery right now. Go ahead, I. Now unto thee, or far off, from thee. None of these gods that are close to us are far off from us. Because Jake will serve a damn god. Jake be serving and Jacob. It's, it's damn Buddhists out here. How the hell are you a damn Chinese? How are you serving a Chinese Chinese god? Go ahead, I. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. Nowhere in the planet. Not, none of these motherfuckers, man. We're supposed to be worshiping nobody but Yahweh, man. By Shimmy I was shy, man. Go ahead, I. Thou shalt not sit unto him, nor hearken unto him. You ain't supposed to listen to your mama, your daddy, your wife, your son, daughter, your closest friend. You're not supposed to listen to them if they telling you, hey, let's go and try this out. Go ahead, I. Neither shall thy eye pity him. We're not even supposed to pity his ass, man. Go ahead, I. Neither shall thou spare. We're not supposed to spare his ass, man. Go ahead, I. Thou shalt, shalt thou conceal, conceal him. him. We not supposed to conceal him. You know what? Hey, because look, you might be able to do it amongst people. You might, all right. But the Lord is looking at your ass. And the Lord will set you up. He'll see what you're going to do. He'll see what you're going to do. You know? All right now, brother. All right, all right. I hope you know who the real Lord is, bro. We're going into it. Go ahead, I. Thou shalt not concert unto them, nor hearken unto them, neither shall. Yep, thou shalt not conceal, shall conceal him. Verse 9. Verse 9. 
But thou shalt surely kill him. What? <laughs> the Lord is telling you to kill another, <laughs> to kill a nigga, man. So where's IUIC that's telling you keep the laws, the statutes, and commandments? They not keeping that? They not keeping that? Cause see, we're not in our kingdom. We're in the, in the kingdom of the so-called white man. But in the biblical days, in the ancient times, your ass was to kill a per. I don't care if it was your mama, nigga. The Lord told you to kill her ass, man. Now that may sound harsh to you Christians. You know that Jesus loves everybody. See. So that God that you're serving is a false God, a false idol. We're dealing with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that is about judgment, righteous judgment, man. Go ahead, Ock. Thy hand shall be first upon him. See? To put him to death. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death. So if your mama, your grandmama, your great-grandmama your great granddaddy, your pregnant wife. You supposed to put you the first one supposed to to, to, to do it, do their asses in, man. You're not to conceal it. You supposed to be the first one. That's the type of dedication and the type of heart that you're supposed to have for your Hawabah Shimmy Awashai, man. You supposed to be that dedicated. As a matter of fact, yeah, go ahead, right, let's get the rest of that. And afterwards, the, the hand of all the people. Yep. And afterwards, the hands of the people. So you're supposed to be the very first one because you heard it first. You know it to be true. Go ahead, I. And thou shalt, shalt stone him with stones. Thou shalt stone him with stones, man. That he died. That he died. Because he have sought to trust to thrust. To thrust thee away from the Lord. See? Because they, they, they were sought to thrust. And that's what these Christians are doing right now. That's why they're so mad with the Hebrew Israelites right now. They're trying to thrust thee away from Yahweh. They want you to come back and serve white Jesus. And mainly it's because of filthy lucre. They greedy dogs, man. They don't care nothing about the flock. They don't care anything about you really being saved. They care about you coming and paying tithes and offerings, man. See? And that, it, that's, that's a serious matter, man. And that's why it's so important, too, that us being into this truth, you know, the, the scripture talks about not offending one of the little ones, man. You don't want to offend one of the little ones, man. You know? That's why hey, we're supposed to just be straightforward with these scriptures. Bring out the scriptures and just leave it to that because it's the scriptures that's going to quicken the people, man. It's this word that's going to quicken the people. That's just like this Pastor Duvall down in Atlanta. I just done a lesson on that yesterday. What this guy's talking about, he's looking for men that smell like weed. He wants to use their, he wants to use the property of the church to grow weed. To draw men, the black men in. That's what he says. He wants to use he wants to use weed to draw you niggas in. Money. Because they're losing congregants, he, man. He figured he said he grows weed and sell it. That too. To but, he, but he's he's figuring, you know, this is gonna get men to come. That way if those men in there, hey, they might buy some weed off of them, but at the same time too, they'll give their tithes and offerings at the same time. Right. And there's a lot of damn women that's into that too. Hell, it, uh, it's women that'll smoke you under the table. That's wicked. You see, that's wicked as hell, man. But that's why this scripture is saying it. They want to thrust you away from your how about Shimei Awashai, man. Like it's very, you got to be careful, man, out here. With um 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 with with the Christian church these days. Matter of fact, it's, it's you gotta come out of them. It's time to come out of these churches, man. As a matter of fact, let's get Luke fourteen to twenty six. Right? 
because the Lord is very jealous, man, over, over, over the children of Israel. And you know, it's, hey, that's serious, man. But like I said, you got these guys out here slandering, calling the men of GMS slander, I mean, um, um, rape, rapists. Because they're just reading what's in the law. And, but they claim they keep the law, statutes, and commandments. But you know what they won't do? They will not call on the name of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. These guys, the, the main guy, Bishop Nathaniel, has been on all these networks since that Kyrie Irving thing went down and them being out there 2,000 deep in front of the, 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 the net center. But he hasn't brought up the name of the Lord not one time. One video with this one guy. He said, yeah, we know the Lord's name is not Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai or some, or Yeshua. Like, why are you giving two different names? Why just not say Yahweh Shai? This guy, I seen a video of this guy going in. Man, he had such a beautiful breakdown on the Lord's name. No, that was like about 20 years ago or so. But he don't even, now he don't even call on the name no more. Why? Because they're under those 501c3 charters, man. And, and beware of those people too. What is that? That that five hundred one c three. That's where they tax exempt. Oh. But it's also a gag order. I think it was um Hoover that came out with it back in the day. So basically, what he done was they came up with a law where the church the church could be tax exempt as long as they only taught a certain thing. So they can't just stand up in the church and say, you know, you so called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Or the true Hebrew Israelites, or they can't say, you know, um, you, um, you alphabet people are going to be destroyed. It's certain stuff they, they can only teach what they teach. White right? Jesus loves everybody, you know that bullshit. They can't teach you the type of scriptures that we just came out with. That if your mama or your son or your daughter or your husband or a loved one friend tried to entice you to thrust you away from the Lord to kill his ass. They can't stand in a pulpit and tell you nothing like that, man. Because they'll flip their tax exempt hook up. And also, what I found out was that by a church, say for instance, you know how you may have a, uh, you know, you got like these pastors, they'll have a church, but they still got a job. They may go to work and work before. Christless. That shit is tax exempt too to go with the church from the 501c3 charter. So they killing them. Yeah, they can have a business and it can be tax exempt. Last week we had a woman in there. I'm like, woman, she don't even go to be preaching till over her head. But, but, like, yeah, you hey, know that, huh? Yup. Like, yeah. You said that was at your job? Yeah. But the Christian church don't care about that. They don't care about that. They got their Juanita Bidens. You know, your Joyce Myers and you know all these, hey, and, 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 and these are prominent people. These are people that supposedly be the, the speaker speakers for the people, man. Go ahead, I, we got that. Um, Luke 14, 26. If any man come to me and hate not his, not this his father. See? And mother. Mother. And wife. And children. And brother. And sister. Yay. And his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. See, you can't be a disciple. So that's going, what do we just read in the Old Testament? The Old Testament and the New Testament, hey, they go together. The Lord is saying, hey, if you, if you're going to, basically, because it's men that worship their wives. It's people that worship their children. I had a brother tell me one time, no, I'm choosing my child over God any day. I'm like, oh shit, okay, all right. <laughs> hey, no problems here. I'm not arguing with nobody like that, man. Hey, Cause when you come into this truth, the scriptures talks about your main enemies is gonna be your people. It's gonna be your family members, man. They're gonna be the ones, you know how mad, you got all these new Hebrew Israelites that's coming to the truth right now. It's, it's some that's done awakened within these past weeks of this Kyrie and Kanye shit going on, right? They're not gonna celebrate Christmas with their family. And their, their family members gonna be pissed about that shit. You see? What is he into? Oh, he's into that coat. He's into that black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelism. 
they're not gonna accept the fact that you're not buying Christmas gifts no more, man. They're not gonna accept the fact that you're following Jeremiah chapter 10, verse four, man. They're not gonna accept that. Matter of fact, let's go to that too. Right, let's get uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse four. They're not gonna accept that, man. Your family, your wife, your, 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 they're not gonna accept your spouses. What do you mean you're not celebrating Christmas? What about the kids? What about the children? Ten and four. Yeah, cause it, cause they don't. They're not gonna want you know. Hey, they they're gonna want to sit down to the ham dinner. They just ate a whole bunch of damn ham for Thanksgiving. They didn't have enough. They just put on fifteen pounds. A few weeks back. Hey, they they, they they're gonna do it again. Cause they're wicked as hell, man. And this this is the reason why the Lord is gonna have to do so many of our people dirty, man. Matter of fact, let's start from the top, right? verse 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear, hear ye the word which the Lord spoke, spoke unto you, O house of Israel. See, he's talking to the Israelites over and over again. When it comes to instruction, when it comes to this discipline, reproof, it's all about the Israelites because the Lord only gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the children of Israel, man. Go ahead, Ock. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. See that? Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. We're not supposed to be doing what this man is doing, man. Learn not the way of the heathen. That's why you, uh, 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 what's that, Proverbs 3 and 31 talks about, um, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You're not supposed to be putting no damn Christmas lights up. Then you want to have a goddamn GoFundMe page when your house burned down. See, the scripture says, who would pity a charmer? We're not pitying nobody that burned down their damn house with some Christmas tree, man. You get nothing here. Go to the so-called white man's shelter and post up. Go to the Salvation Army. They're going to give you some blankets and shit. Go ahead, Ox. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen and for the heathen are dismayed, dismayed at them yep because that's what they do the heathen are into the stars and astrology and what's your sign and all this shit they're into you know um the the, the, the you know these different constellations in the skies and stuff go ahead I well the custom of the people are Vain. The customs of the people are vain, man. Work cut up a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen. See, they they talking about a damn Christmas tree. I just watched a documentary on that last night. Bro, I can it's called um um it's a channel called Martin Marvel, where it shows you like they how they, they just mass produce shit, man. I ain't ever seen a damn farm that damn big, man. Nothing but Christmas trees. And they showing you how they, they slit them and they slice them. And they went into the Christmas lights and all that shit, bro. And I'm sitting there just watching it. Cause I was gonna, normally I turn the channel when it comes to stuff like that. But I was like, you know what? Let me, let me watch a little bit of this. Man, I'm talking about Christmas trees for miles, bro. Miles and miles. And they had, it looked like Northern Kingdom was the one out there cutting them bitches down. You see? But the customs of the people of Bay is telling you that the, 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 the work of the hand of the axemen, man. It, this is talking about your Christmas right here. It's in the scriptures. But you can pass by every church in America and they're going to have a damn Christmas decoration in their damn church, man. With a Christmas tree right in the fucking foyer, in the foyer man. But they'll tell you for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Not keeping nothing in the scriptures, man. They, they all have that bullshit manger up, you know, with the white Jesus, with Mary, and, you know, some damn sheep and, and, and oxen around. I seen, I passed a church um, yesterday that had that shit out front. People got that shit all out in the yard. Don't know what the scriptures is talking about, man. Because the Lord was not born on no damn December 25th, man. And his name is not Jesus. That letter J was invented in 1524, man. The letter J-E-O-U or V is not even in the Hebrew alphabet. 
Well, how is his name even Jesus? But nobody wants to hear that, man. They want to, they, 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 Jake stuck on the idol. Jake loved the idol, man. Go ahead, Ox. With the axe. They, they deck it with silver and with gold. Oh, they deck it with silver. What does that sound like? They deck this, the tree with silver and with gold? That's Christmas, bro. And you got some pastor that's talks about that's not talking about Christmas. But that just shows you that they that, that's how hardened their hearts are. That's how stiff-hearted they are, man. They don't want to actually they'll tell you that they love the Lord, but they really don't love man. They, they these are antichrist. These people hate the Lord. They hate the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. They hate his judgment. They hate it, man. That was what that you on that. It fails and it covered and, and it moved up. Oh yeah, yeah. Well they yeah, they they nailed it down basically. That that's that that holder that the tree had. You know how they <laughs> you know now they got artificial trees. You know? Hey, they, they got trees now where you know you can just roll it out and it pops open. They used to have the one where you stick the sticks off into it, you know what I'm saying? And you kind of get it together. But now they got straight sun where you roll it out the closet, pop. And the, and the damn lead and the things pop off and you just hang what you want to hang. Man, man, they, I, I, I don't watch a few documentaries because they showing all this shit right now. The, the history of Christmas. When you look at the history of Christmas, it's wicked as hell. They actually showing it to you on TV. But people don't care. People don't care, man. They don't care because, and you know what? It's going to be a lot of divorce, a lot of breakups, a lot of um, 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 a lot of friendships being um, severed. Friendships being severed. Why? Because they didn't get the Christmas gift that they wanted. How wicked is that? How wicked is that that a person will leave you because you didn't get them the proper Christmas gift? How wicked is that? And like I said, again, it's a lot of brothers that's coming into this troop. They're not going to go to Christmas dinner this year. And that's going to upset grandma. What you mean you're not bringing the kids over for Christmas? We've been doing this as a family tradition for 80 years. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Hey, Jake don't want no parts of this troop. And, uh, and, 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 and if the Lord will have you kill one of your family members for trying to thrust you thrust you away from him then what you think is going to happen in these last days man when the Lord then gave you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to awake matter of fact we, 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 we can go ahead and end out uh, with our um, that Romans 13 and 11 but what do you think man what do you think the Lord got it out for a person like that what do you think is going to happen to the two-thirds in these last days that won't listen after the Lord that gave you the opportunity to wake up by sending the men out on the highways and byways? The scripture says that there's no cloak for your sin. You're not going to have a cloak. You're not going to be able to say, I didn't know. Shit. The Lord is, is, is a just power. He's letting everybody know right now what's up. Even the Esau, he's letting them know their judgment. He's not going to just judge them and they don't know why they're being judged. He's letting Newton know. Go ahead, Ox. So we're going to end out with um our, our, our end out scriptures that we bring out every week, man, because this is where it's at. Romans 13 and 11 and 12. Romans uh, 13 and 11. And that knowing the, that, the, that time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer then when we believe. Until you woke niggas. You got these niggas on woke. No, you better wake hot. Hey, you better wake your ass up out of that wokeism. Because that woke that you in, you you still, you even more sleep. You slobbing even in that. It's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Go ahead, I. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cut cast off the works of darkness 
But let us put on the armor of light. See? You got to cast off those works of darkness and put on the armor of light, man. And again, how do we do that? You can't do it if you don't know the true name of the Father and the true name of the Son, I-U-I-C. You have to know the true names of the Father and Son. You have to repent to the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be in the Paleo-Hebrew. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Because that's one of the main stumbling blocks that we come out to um, eradicate, man, is that white Jesus crap. Our people really about to sit down and damn another turkey dinner, man. Believing in white Jesus, man. Idolatry. So you trying to tell me the Lord will have you knock off your family member for thrusting you away from him and he's going to continue on allowing you to, to, to worship a false god and he's the one that's taking care of you? Nah, man. You better wake up, man. Because we're living in the last days. That all the things that Yahweh Shai spoke of are coming to pass and they're coming to pass fast, man. They're coming to pass quickly. All these wars, rumors of wars, man. Pestilence. And we ain't gonna even talk about the, the, the Sodom and Gomorrah in this place, man. That shit is out of control now. <laughs> Super duper out of control. You got Congress, or what was that? They just passed the law for, for um, the, 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 the alphabet marriage now. Joe Biden, he's fighting for it. He's rooting for it, man. Here you go, you got the, the most wickedest administration on the planet bringing in the, the Sodom and Gomorrah world. Do you think that the Lord is not about to come? Man, hey, you better wake the fuck up, man. The Lord is on the way. These are, hey, this type of wickedness cannot go on for very, very much longer, man. They talking about the C-HIP, the MOTB. That's on, hey, that's right on our ass, man. Inflation through the roof. 2023 is about to bring a whole new type of, of wickedness in, man. A whole new type of punishment is about to come upon this earth, man, in 2023. So you better get it together, man. So with that, you know, we you know we, we gonna wrap it up by saying shalom. Kwam Yashala, Ko Halo, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors again to our apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say Thawada to all you Akim and Akwab again for keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability and doing what you can for the ministry, man. Do what you can for the brothers that's out on the highways and byways. Hey, throw up a prayer for the brothers, man. You know, do something. If you're apt to teach, teach, man. The scriptures talks about praying for um more laborers for the harvest because the harvest is plenty, as but the laborers are few. We need all the harvests we can get, man. Here you go, you gotta the so-called white man can get a, a, a hundred hundreds of people together to harvest a bunch of goddamn Christmas trees. <laughs> but we can't, you know, man, you should be glad to get up and, and come out and teach the gospel, man. See? So with that, call me out, Shalom.